The United States says a floating dock is now anchored near Gaza and ready to receive maritime aid shipments for the United Nations to distribute. The UN on Thursday said it is still finalizing operational plans how to do so, but reiterated that land crossings can bring in more aid right, much uh, faster. To stave off the horrors of famine, we must use the fastest and most obvious route to reach the people of Gaza. And for that, we need access by land now. The UN says right now the main land crossings in Gaza remain either closed, unsafe, or not logistically viable. And even if aid trucks get in, they lack fuel to get to places to distribute it. Basically, the bottom line is only small amounts of food are getting in, and, and uh, in terms of fuel, the fuel imports have, for all practical purposes, stopped. We desperately need more fuel. Humanitarian organizations echoed the sentiments of the UN that land, not sea, should be the focus. There are hundreds of trucks waiting on the other side of Rafa crossing, the main land route, um, to get that, that previously we were getting aid into Gaza, and you know, filled with food, filled with medical supplies, and they're not being allowed through. What we need is for Israel to reopen all of the crossing points into Gaza, all of the land crossing points into Gaza, and to allow um, unfettered and unrestricted access. Israel is openly hostile to the UN, even killing a UN security officer and wounding another in Rafah this week. This calls into question how safely the UN could deliver aid. The United Nations is in a very difficult situation where they're being expected to provide, for example, this humanitarian support to the people of Gaza. At the same time, um, they have to provide for the security and safety of their staff members. Even when you have uh, the opening of this port, even as you have more aid come in, even if you have the fuel and the ability to distribute it, you still have this critical issue that is really, really prevalent on the ground in Gaza right now, which is, you know, the communication with the Israeli military and the ability to safely deliver this aid. And that is the real problem that the UN faces right now, rushing to come up with a plan on how to safely deliver aid from a floating dock it didn't build didn't request, and doesn't even think is an ideal way to get aid into Gaza and could be nothing more than a costly distraction. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.